An aortic aneurysm, or an aneurysm, is basically uh, a swelling or dilation or enlargement of a blood vessel. So we're kind of like a balloon that's expanding, that the wall of that vessel has weakened, and then the artery kind of balloons out. When it's an abdominal aortic aneurysm, that's known as a AAA or AAA, uh, it actually is quite a common problem. Um, it's a 13th leading cause of death in the United States and then the 10th leading cause of death in men in the United States because it's slightly more prevalent in men. The risk with aneurysms is that as that aorta continues to dilate and increase in size, that wall becomes ever weaker and it can rupture. And rupture commonly results in death, unfortunately. So the real goal with aortic aneurysms is to detect them when they're asymptomatic, they haven't caused a problem, and then we have an opportunity to fix the aneurysm and to prevent the patient from progressing to an aortic aneurysm rupture. Oftentimes, aneurysms are discovered uh, by your primary physician when he's doing a physical examination and feeling the abdomen if you feel a pulsatile mass in the abdomen. A lot of times patients have x-ray studies that are done for a variety of different reasons unrelated to the aorta or aneurysms and it may be an incidental finding and once it's identified it can be followed and treated. There is also an emphasis in doing some screening for aortic aneurysms and we tend to target uh, populations who are at risk for aneurysms. So those are people usually over age 60 with some vascular risk factors vascular risk factors are smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, elevated cholesterol. With aneurysms, family history is important as well since there may be a genetic or hereditary component. Treatment of aneurysms uh, can be using open surgical techniques or more and more commonly we're using minimally invasive or endovascular approaches to the repair of aneurysms. And a, and a minimally invasive or endovascular aortic aneurysm repair involves what's called a stent graft. And rather making an incision in the abdomen, that stent graft is actually delivered through a catheter system from the artery at the top of the leg. So no incision in the abdomen is made. The stent graft device that is used to reline the aorta in the region where the aneurysm is is delivered through that catheter system and that can even be done uh, oftentimes without any incisions and sometimes even without a general anesthetic. The benefit of the endovascular repair is that it's much less for the patient to go through, the recovery is much quicker, and oftentimes patients may only stay a day or two in the hospital to get their aneurysm fixed. If you have an aortic aneurysm, why should you come to New York Presbyterian Hospital? Reason number one is that we have a tremendous experience in the treatment of aortic aneurysms, whether it's with open surgical or endovascular techniques, and in particular with innovative uh, endovascular therapies uh, as well. We're involved in a number of clinical studies focusing on the development of new and innovative stent graft technology to treat those aneurysms, which previously were untreatable with endovascular or minimally invasive techniques. And that's a really exciting and rapidly evolving area where we're using what are called uh, fenestrated stent grafts, branched stent grafts, uh, um, which are new and unique stent graft devices uh, that can be used to fix aneurysms that previously couldn't be fixed with these minimally invasive techniques. So one of the things that differentiates us from many other hospitals around is the high volume of complex aneurysm repairs that we do and the access to these innovative new technologies uh, usually through clinical trials.